All right, we're continuing with the Tessera installation on an Amazon cluster. Um, this is not a direct continuation of the exact same installation. I've discovered a few little uh, things that need to be ironed out along the way. Uh, so I restarted it, but um, I can say it takes probably around 20 minutes for the cluster to fully configure. After the dots uh, stop marching across the screen, you'll get a message that says cluster is ready. And then you can use the instructions here to actually access the cluster. So we can SSH into the cluster. We can also uh, just go directly to the web address of the cluster. And let me do that here. And we have an RStudio server uh, instance running up on the cloud. Now the login for it is Tessera user. And the password is Tessera. And we can sign into that. Don't really need to remember the password. And we've got a, a, a basic R environment. We still need to do a couple of steps to install the uh, Tessera part. So uh, I'm just going to check for the presence of some things. Uh, I need the library dev tools to install packages that are non-standard, that are not available through the R archive CRAN. And so I'm going to install dev tools using the command install packages dev tools and I'm going to ask it to include any dependencies. Now this may take a little while and if it spins off errors we're going to have to go back and fix the errors. Um, I'm starting to see some errors in red already. Um, so if you're not familiar with the R installation process, R has a mechanism to add any necessary packages dynamically to your installation, but we are just going to let this run for a bit, see what might have failed in the installation. Uh, it's succeeding when you see this done uh, message in the in the list. Those are things that have have succeeded in installing. Uh, let's see if I can access DevTools now. Uh, DevTools has failed to install completely, so I'm just going to run the install again, and I can get a better sense of the packages that have failed. Okay, so it's really this one package, git2r, that has failed to install, and the reason is uh, it does not find the OpenSSL library. Okay, so what I'm going to do to correct that is I'm go I am going to use my instructions to log in directly to my cluster. And let me just pop up a new window for that. Okay, remove that. So in this window, I'm going to paste the ssh command. Notice I log in as the Hadoop user at the web address. And the one thing I have to change is I have to provide the path to my key file. This should be the same one that you've been using uh, before. And I can connect. Okay, so now I'm logged in on the command line to my new cluster that was created by the Tessera script. Um, so let me make sure that I have OpenSSL installed. Command for that is, this is using RPM packaging, so the I can say yum and sudo yum to make sure that that goes in. Um, I'm also going to install OpenSSL Devel. So this is giving you some feel of, of some of the sort of extra command line work that you sometimes have to undertake. Um, I find that when I'm working with R, uh, the Devel packages contain optional stuff for like a standard user, but R often makes use of that. 
So it's often safer just to go ahead and install the devel package. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop R and restart the R environment just so it can recognize uh, my new installations. Okay, and the, so I, I go up to session, click restart R, and my interface remains the same, but I've got a new R session that I've started up down here. All right, so now I'm going to try once more install packages, dev tools, dependencies equals true. Okay, so it says it could not find lib ssh2 on this system, but apparently that's not a serious enough error to stop the installation. So we're getting further than we did the last time. And we're going to let this run for a bit. Some of these compilations on the Linux system, if you've used R on Windows, everything is prepackaged so it just kind of loads directly in uh, but on Linux installing something in R means it it gets dynamically configured and sometimes that takes a little while as it runs through all of these different commands so we'll let that run and while that's going. Uh, I don't think we I think we've run out of slides to talk about. Uh, I have one more example that I'm going to run through for you once we're done with this and then a conclusion. So we're nearing the end of the of the workshop. Um, so I am just gonna wait for this to finish. Okay and it looks like it completed successfully. So we've got dev tools on the system. We can say library dev tools to activate the dev tools library. And now we are going to use the install GitHub command, which can pull materials directly from GitHub and install them locally. So I uh, just want to double check that I'm getting my command correct. Um, and let's just go directly to my GitHub site. I sometimes forget the, the correct quotes and some make some typos. So we do want to install GitHub um, Tessera data slash data dr. The instructions um, again have extra stuff that I've encountered in previous runs of this. I find the script is a little bit inconsistent. doesn't seem to run the same way every time. Um, I guess depending on conditions up on the cloud that things complete or not. Uh, so I had to fill in some other packages in the past. Um, right now I seem to be okay. Um, sometimes I've had to install fast ICA. I seem to be okay with that right now. Uh, so I can jump directly to the Tessera part, which is uh, te first Tessera data slash data dr. And I, I need to put that in quotes. That's the, the, the main thing. and it pulls that in from the the repository and it has a few dependencies that it's also going to uh, attempt to install. Hopefully this won't take too long. Downloaded those files and begins building some of the commands.
something breaks here, we might get frustrated, but if we f get frustrated, we make a little face. Uh, but hopefully, we're going to get through this um, this process. So this is giving you a very realistic sense of an installation. Uh, I could I could edit this out or shorten it if I was interested in a production, uh, a, a more produced video. Unfortunately, I don't have time to really do that with this series. I, I have to leave it as a raw video for you guys. Uh, so I, if you want to skip ahead uh, to where this completes, you, you have that ability on YouTube. Uh, so again, I apologize if this takes a little while. We're also somewhat dependent on the speed of processing on the cluster. Um, if you've got a good local system, some of these things might run faster, uh, you know, on your own systems. But we're uh, in a bit of a restricted environment on the cluster, where the clusters tend to be configured for more for storage and not so much for uh, fast compiling of this type. So our dplyr is really it's really running and at this point this is dragged on for a couple of minutes and so I think I will pause the video and bring it up again in a, in a second segment once this installation is complete. Um, I don't want you to wait through too much of this. And I was trying to, to stop it, but I, I went to the wrong window to do that. Uh, perhaps that's fortunate. We did get another line of progress. So I'm going to take that as a sign and I'm going to hang on just for a minute more. See if it's able to complete some more commands. Still frustrated. This is taking too long. All right, and so this time I really am going to stop the video. Here we go.